Okay, this experiment uses a laser, and so I want to quickly go over some of the uh, rules of laser safety. Even though you're not going to be in the lab using the laser, one of the things we want you to learn here is uh, something you can carry to another lab. So it's important that you know the rules of laser safety. I'll just go over them quickly here for you. First of all, just turn the laser on when you're using it and then turn it off at all other times. I'm doing this the slow way so you can write it in your lab notebook. The idea is that there's no chance of a stray laser beam go, going into your eye if the laser isn't turned on. And you only have the laser turned on when you know you've got the laser turned on, when you're using the laser, and then you turn the laser off. Okay. This uh, is pretty obvious, but don't look into the laser beam. Don't pick it up. Oh, is this thing on? And look into it to see if it's on. I've seen people almost do that and it's a good way to damage damage your eyeball even though laser pointers the little ones are very low power and won't do a lot of damage unless you really really look at it the lasers we have are a little bit more power um, that we use in this lab are a little bit more power so you don't look at the laser to see if it's if it's turned on you look at where it's pointed and see if there's a dot Also, don't look at the mirror because the mirror reflects the beam without attenuation. It just it doesn't spread it out at all. So, don't look at the mirror. Although you'll see our mirrors are a little dusty or they're they, they're double layered, so you can see the dot on the mirror. You just don't want to look directly at where the reflected beam is going to come from, come in. So. Don't look directly at the mirror, but if you look at it from the side, where the beam is not going to come into your eye, you're going to be okay. The worst, the, the worst is that there are lasers that are not visible. The beam is not visible at all, but you see the dot at the end. It's not like in the movies, right, where uh, you can see the laser beams. You're going to have smoke or dust, chalk dust works. We have whiteboards. Um, you've got to have something to get in the way of the beam in order to make it spread out. In the movies, they need to show that there's a laser beam, so they just draw it in there. It's, it's like a cartoon. Um, but there are laser beams that are in, uh, uh, lasers in, in a uh, frequency that's in the in infrared or ultraviolet, where you couldn't see it even if it was reflected off of something. You could, it's just not in the visible range. And that can actually be more dangerous because you'll get the beam in your eye and you won't even know it until the damage is done. Okay, the third thing about for laser safety is to be careful about reflections. And in particular, I should have taken my rings off when I did the experiment. I should take my watch off. Belt buckles, you can fold them down. rings, watches, belt buckles, jewelry. You just want to be cognizant of where that beam is going to go. And I was actually careful when I was working with the beam, but strictly speaking, I should have taken my watch off. Okay, so when you actually get to work with a real laser in a real lab in person, keep these in mind.